हेलो डियर चिल्ड्रेन आई मिसेस गुरप्रीत कौर भाटिया वेलकम यू ऑल टू द वर्चुअल क्लासेस ऑफ जेट किड्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल पुसद सो चिल्ड्रेन आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज चैप्टर नंबर एट द चेरी ट्री पार्ट वन एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू यू नो कंप्लीट द रीडिंग एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट ऑफ द रिमेनिंग लेसन so let's begin a beautiful story written by ruskin bond a uh, story means it's a beautiful lesson actually wherein uh, you know uh, the story of a plant is described and uh, this uh, here uh, we uh, you know uh, in the remaining first part of the lesson we read about uh, rakesh who was a boy of 6 and who was coming from his school and purchased a cherry bunch and started eating on the way to his home and then he shared a few cherries with his grandfather too when the last cherry uh, you know uh, he ate uh, and the seed he started observing then he asked his grandfather about sowing the seed and all then he sown uh, the seed into the earth and what happens to that let's see i would like you all to open your books chapter number 8 and page number 74 till uh, teacher will read the story as well as explain you along with the meanings of hard words so i hope all my champions have opened their books at the same page number where the teacher has said okay let's begin okay then he had his lunch and ran off to play cricket with his friends and forgot all about the cherry seed so which cherry seed which he sow into the uh, into the land into the earth when it was winter in the hills a cold wind blew down from the snows and went who 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 in the deodar trees and the garden was dry and bare in the evenings grandfather and rakesh sat over a charcoal fire and grandfather told rakesh stories stories about people who turned into animals and ghosts who lived in trees and beans that jumped and stones that wept and in turn rakesh would read to him from the newspaper grandfather's eyesight was being rather weak rakesh found the newspaper very dull especially after the stories but grandfather wanted all the news it happens at your home also okay they knew it was spring when the wild duck flew north again to siberia early in the morning when he got up to chop wood and light a fire Rakesh saw the V-shaped formation streaming northwards and heard the calls of birds clearly through the thin mountain air. So they were talking about the birds, which birds? Wild duck, who were, uh, you know, uh, flying north again to Siberia. Yes. let's uh, see the meanings of formation the pattern or shape of something streaming moving in large numbers one after another so they were talking about wild ducks who were flying from one uh, place to another okay one morning in the garden he bent to pick up what he thought was a small twig and found to his surprise that it was well rooted he was uh, you know checking he was observing that uh, small plant twig means small plant uh, you know rooted inside and uh, the small uh, part was coming out of the land out of the earth so that was the cherry tree that, that was a small seed which he has sown uh, some months back he stared at it for a moment stared means looking something uh, steadily then ran to fetch grandfather calling grandfather come and look the cherry tree has come up what cherry tree asked grandfather who had forgotten about it 
The seed was planted last year. Look, it's come up. So, uh, when did they plant the seed? Last year means the moment he started observing that twig, that small plant coming out of the earth. So, that was sown a year back of that. Yes. Rakesh went down on his haunches while grandfather bent almost double and peered down at the tiny tree. Peered means looking at something very clearly, very carefully or with some difficulty too. It was about four inches high. Yes, it's a cherry tree, said grandfather. You should water it now and then. Now and then means it's a phrase. It means all the times you should start watering your plant to grow it well. Rakesh ran indoors and came back with a bucket of water. Don't drown it. Like the plant should not be drowned. So water should be, uh, you know, poured properly equally. Said grandfather. Rakesh gave it a sprinkling and circled it with pebbles sprinklers you know where uh, we will uh, find the meaning here uh, what are the pebbles for asked grandfather for privacy said rakesh pebbles means stones sprinkling means let's see when the water is uh, distributed equally yeah we will see he looked at the tree every morning but it did not seem to be growing very fast okay so he stopped looking at it except quickly out of the corner of his eye and after a week or two when he allowed himself to look at it properly he found that it had grown at least an inch one inch was grown that year the monsoon rains came early and rakesh plodded too and from school in the raincoat and gumboots, ferns sprang from the trunks of trees. Strange looking lilies came up in the long grass and even when it wasn't raining, the trees dripped and mist came curling up the valley. The cherry tree grew quickly in this season. It was about two feet high when a goat entered the garden and ate all the leaves. Only the main stem and two thin branches remained. Never mind, said grandfather, seeing that Rakesh was upset. It will grow again. Cherry trees are tough. What is the meaning of sprinkling? A small, thinly distributed amount. Pebbles small stones that are smooth and round plodded walked slowly with heavy steps gum boots long rubber boots ferns flowerless plants with feathery leaves so children when do we wear gum boots okay during rainy season so which season had come now now means in the lesson rainy season and uh, here it is said that now the plant was grown to uh, you know uh, two feet yeah two feet it was grown and earlier he started ignoring the plant he was not uh, uh, you know uh, what do you say it was not growing so fast so quickly so he started uh, giving less attention to that but when monsoon came Yes, then it grew very fast. And after the school, he always used to come to the plant. Yes, to see how much is grown, how is the growth or how does it look now. That's why grandfather had told him to plant this, uh, no, sorry, water this plant every now and then. Because cherry trees are, uh, you know, uh, they have more requirement of water. Correct? So I hope that you people have learned all the uh, meanings of hard words and some science scan is also there children which I would like to read for you. Slide is not made for that. 
many birds fly long distances to avoid harsh weather conditions this is known as migration okay the wild ducks of siberia come to the himalayan foothills in india to escape the extreme winter in siberia when summer is about to start in siberia then uh, they fly back to their home okay so when birds are flying from one place to another to protect themselves that uh, you know moving is known as migration and why are they moving just to uh, avoid that you know extreme weathers which are not at all which they are not adapted to okay so here we would like to uh, end up this video i hope that you people have understood this lesson properly and read it twice and uh, write down the meanings in your notebooks and also uh, go for the exercise independently just uh, read it and mark the answers don't write teacher will give it okay children so stay blessed stay happy bye bye see you